Hello, this is Trinon, and welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Torchlight. We last left Damn. off with killing Brink. Before we continue the main story, however, we'll talk to this fellow, Hatch. He wants us to go into a specific portal to grab a MacGuffin for him. This is the Crypt of the Chronicler. This is the first instance we get to see a new tile set, that of a necropolis. With a new tile set comes a new set of enemies, the undead. There are a variety of undead to deal with in Torchlight. Zombies are not much of a threat unless they get close. Archers can shoot at range and can be very dangerous as such. Corrupted Chamblers are annoying in that when you kill them, they explode leaving a cloud of poison gas behind. And Skeleton Warriors are painful because you have to attack through their shield. The map itself can be tricky in that you can't hit targets while shooting upstairs very well. Even with this new enemy set and these map entrances, the strategy for this area is still very simple. Use my minions to kill things, shoot things from afar with my wand. It's slow going, but I do wear down pretty much anything in my wake. Over this bridge into the area with the sarcophagi, we encounter a new enemy, Spectre. Spectres have two deadly abilities. First, they can turn other enemies into Spectres. Second, they can teleport. This can make them pretty harsh to deal with, even with a ranged character. Even with their difficulties, Spectres are not hard to deal with by them alone, so it's really only when they appear in swarms is their an issue. Further into this area, we come across the MacGuffin I need to collect, the Tome of Revelation. A quest has been completed. The exit out of this area is not too far away. A little more mopping up, and this area is cleared, the MacGuffin's collected, and we're ready to go. Immediately after completing the first quest, another one is ready for us. We can keep continuing this quest chain if we wish, but the enemies scale expecting you to have completed more of the main story. See you around. This concludes part two. Up next, we'll be dealing with more undead. <laughs> 